Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video for you all. Contour slash collection, ultimate highlighting plus contouring palette with mirror. It actually says with mirror on it there. So taking the palette outside of the box, there is a booklet. I'll look at that first. So this is actually pretty good. It's got like little sub tabs that say, what is my skin tone? What is my face shape? What if I want highlighting or contour certain areas? What is my skin type? Yeah. Okay, so it's like a big leaflet. So this is the palette. It's quite nice and quite sturdy. Um, and then it's also got um, instructions on the back as well. Well, not really instructions. It's just got all the stuff that is printed on the back of this. So I do like how you've got a giant full-size mirror there. That's quite nice. And then you've got six powders. So contour, highlight. This actually kind of reminds me of the Anastasia kit as well as the Australis kit. Okay, yep. Yeah. So each pan has 3.5 grams, which totals to be 0.12 ounces. So 3.5 in each one of those. Now I've applied all my foundation, I've applied all my makeup, I just haven't applied any highlight, any contour, any bronzer, nothing. Let's wash them first. Okay. Oh my goodness, that's so soft. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. It's like a tiny bit of a sheen. This is the highlight number three color. It's got like a tiny little bit of sheen and it's so velvety, what the? Okay, now I'm gonna do this middle shade. Oh, that's so soft as well. And also super, super pigmented. Let's see what it looks like on the hand. Oh, can you see the dot that it left from my finger? Okay, that's quite pigmented as well and quite soft and buttery. And now we'll try that last pink shade. Again, super, super soft. Okay, yeah, that's a bit too stark white for me. <laughs> I think if you were of lighter complexion, that one would be quite nice, or even mixing the two, the yellow and the pink. But the pink on its own is just way too white, at least for my skin tone at the moment. I think when I'm at my palest, it will look quite nice. But right now, I think that would be just way too white. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to check out the contour shade. So I'm going to do this contour six shade on the end here. Again, super, super soft. It's that one there. Quite like the tone of that one, actually. We'll do the middle one now. Again, super, super soft. Oh, I don't think I like that one. That one's very, very gray. Can you see that? That's very, very gray. I think that's definitely a contour shade. You could not use that for bronzing. Or at least, I wouldn't use it for bronzing. You can do whatever you want. And now I'm gonna try this shade on the end here. Tiny bit less creamy than every other shade, but it's still quite... I don't know where I cut out, but I know I cut out. Um, that's that contour... What is it? Contour number four? Yeah. Contour number four. It's that shade here. I think I like this shade the most out of the contour shades. And I like the these two. The shimmery one and then the yellow one the most out of the highlight shades. Because I feel like... I don't know. I feel like the other two colors are going to look a bit ashy on me. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to set my under eyes using that yellow color. So you do get a lot of pickup and you get a tiny bit of like fly up. Can you see like how it's all over there? Like you get a tiny bit of fly up, but nothing too extreme. It's not as bad as the Australis one. I don't actually know if it's doing anything. I'm just using the viewfinder as a mirror. But I'm just putting this underneath my eyes like I would do with any highlight powder. You guys know that I love MAC Emphasize, but it's very, very stark. So sometimes I do like using a more yellow toned concealer just to kind of even out things a little bit. So I'm just going to put the highlight powder in the center of my face. Okay, there is definitely a lot of fly up. Can you see that? That was a lot more than what I showed you before. I do like that shade, but it doesn't really do too much. I might add in a tiny bit of this shade on the end, just that lighter pink, and see if it will do any brightening. Oh yeah, that did a bit of brightening. Um, I'm just going to do a tiny bit down my nose. Tiny bit under the eyes. I think if I was to start over, I'd probably mix those two shades together, just to get like nice in-between. 
So to contour my face, I'm going to start off with this shade, just on a Sedona Lace FBO Fire Brush, and I'm just going to start contouring out my cheekbones. And that shade was also quite powdery as well. Whoa! Whoa, okay. It doesn't look like that in real life. It kind of looks like I've done nothing to my face. So it's quite strange how it's picking up so strong on camera. Wow. And then I'm just going to take that same shade, tap off any excess, and then I'm just going to dust that over these sides of my face. Or sides of my forehead, rather. To be honest, I can't see anything on my face. <laughs> like, I can see a little bit here, but when I've done that over my forehead, I don't really see anything. It's quite blendable as well, because I've got a big smudge there, and since I go back and forth just a little bit, it's blended straight out. Like, not like that it's like disappeared, but that it's just kind of looks a bit more feather-like instead of harsh. So that color is okay. I think that that's as gray toned as I would go. Um, I'm going to go in with this shade now, the one on the end, and I'm going to use that to bronze. Oh, that's really, really pigmented, and it is quite powdery as well. Both those shades were quite powdery also. But I guess it kind of goes with the nature. If you want a super, super pigmented product, it's hard to not have it be super powdery. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to try and bronze my skin with this. I'm just going to tap a bit of excess onto the back of my hand because it looks like there was just a ton on my brush. So I'm just going to start... I do feel like this kit would be a lot more foolproof than the Australis one because the Australis one is slightly harder to blend out um, once it's on your face. This seems very, very effortless and it seems very, very buildable. So I do like that. And I'm just going to run a little bit over my forehead and then just bring it down my jaw. So I definitely like this shade a lot. That is a really, really nice colour. And I feel like this palette is quite good, especially for beginners, because it is quite buildable and it's very, very blendable. Or just if you're in a hurry or if you're in a rush, like, it's, it's quite a good palette, like, so far. I'm kind of scared to use this shade because I'm scared that it's going to make my face look really, really muddy, this shade here. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to grab it on, like, the very, very corner of my brush and I'm going to see what happens. Because it is very grey. Like, can you see that? And I'm just going to pop it where it normally comes. Oh, that's not too bad. Whoa, my contour looks so strong on camera. I promise you guys, it is not that strong. <laughs> what? But you can definitely see a difference between this side of my face with contour and this side. Wait, this side with contour and this side without contour. But I promise you, it's not that pigmented. What the? Like, seriously, what the? I guess if you're going to be on camera or whatever, you need to take in mind that it shows up a lot stronger than what it does in real life. Because in real life, it looks like a really, really subtle shadow. Here it looks like... <laughs> so I don't know what the go is with that, but I'm going to do the other side of my face. I really love that first shade. Like, this shade is so good. Like, I could probably just go without like any other one I could just use this shade by itself I really like it but anyway for the sake of this video I'm gonna use this shade just to kind of even out my face <laughs> I just can't believe how like much it picks up on camera because it does not look anything like that in real life I'm gonna go in with the gray shade now just a tiny bit on my brush ever so slightly and I'm just gonna put it on the hollows Okay, so now to use that very last shade, um, that one there, I'm just going to use my fan brush and just pick up a tiny bit. Okay, so that highlight shade is the most powdery out of all of them. Like, no joke, I just touched my brush in there and then like, whoop, all the powder came out. Oh my god. Okay, anyway, so I'm just going to dust off a little bit off my brush because that's so much that it's picked up. And I'm just going to, ooh, that's so pretty. I like that. I like that a lot. But the contour still looks like stripes on my face. Okay, so I guess it's time to share my overall thoughts on the palette. I used all six shades. I feel like the two matte highlight shades, they didn't do all too much. You would get the same results if you were to set it with a lighter face powder, I feel. Um, although, with that being said, it is still good if you have it to use it. 
Um, that highlight shimmer color I do quite like. It's quite a nice drugstore highlight. It's not super chunky. It's very, very finely milled, but it is very, very beautiful. So I do quite like that highlight shade. That is a standout for me. And then in terms of the contour shades, so my favorite one is definitely this one. I know at the start I said this one, but after using them, this one is definitely my favorite. I could definitely go with just using this one and not using a contour or a bronzer. Just this one shade and it doubles as both. I really, really do like it. Second favorite shade is definitely this one. Um, just if I would do want more of a golden bronzy color, I do feel it's quite nice. This shade, for me, at my current skin tone, which is about an NC30 in MAC, at least that's the color foundation that I'm wearing today in MAC Pro Longwear, um, I don't really feel like this shade did, did, did very much. So this shade and these two shades, like the two, the two matte highlights and then the middle matte one, they're probably my least favorite from the palette. But with that being said, they're not bad shades at all. It's just they didn't work for my skin tone. They didn't really make that much of a difference. So I guess the question now is, would I recommend this palette to you guys? And I would say yes. I would definitely recommend it over, say, the Australis one. Um, and even the, the Anastasia one, due to the price difference. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Like the price difference, the Anastasia one, I think in Australia, that's like almost 70 bucks. I think, I think. That might just be like a completely wrong guess, but I think it's around that. Um, and then the Australis one, I think it's on par in price point, maybe a few dollars cheaper or more expensive, but then I don't like the quality of it as much. I feel like this one is better than both of them. I don't know. I just, I feel like this one, the texture is better, the packaging is the best out of them all, and it's more blendable, it's more buildable, and it's just easier to use. Like, yes, it's super powdery, but then again, so is the Australis one. The only one that's not super powdery is the Anastasia one, but I don't think it's worth the price difference, if you get what I'm saying. So yeah, I will definitely continue to use this Models Prefer Contouring Collection palette. I think it's quite nice if you can get your hands on it definitely give it a go. I don't think it's you could lose too much. If you really didn't like it as a contour, you can definitely still use four shades as eyeshadows in this palette, or you can still use those shades as well. So, to me, I don't think you can really go wrong. Price is right, formula is good, blends good, buildable, can't really ask for two more. Thumbs up from me, and I'm not too sure what else I really need to say. So, I hope that was helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up if you'd like more first impressions, and yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye.